Imagine a city where technology and nature coexist perfectly, creating a future that feels straight out of a science fiction movie. Welcome to Singapore, where the impossible becomes reality. What do you know about Singapore? Perhaps you've heard that in this country, consuming or selling chewing gum is strictly prohibited, with fines that can reach astonishing amounts. Or maybe you've heard that, despite being one of the most densely populated cities in the world, traffic jams are virtually non-existent. Singapore is a city-state located on an island in Southeast Asia, globally recognized as a model of innovation and one of the most advanced metropolises on the planet. Furthermore, it is often called the greenest city in the world, blending nature and technology in a unique way, even in its tallest skyscrapers. With streets filled with futuristic architecture, Singapore has become a symbol of an economic miracle. But what is the secret behind this model nation? And how has its architecture played a crucial role in its rise? Let's explore Singapore, the place where the future is already a reality. Imagine arriving at an airport that is not just a transit hub but a destination in itself. That's the experience at Changi Airport, a symbol of Singapore's innovative essence, where technology and nature come together in surprising ways. Upon entering the jewel complex, you are transported to an almost futuristic environment. Suspended trains pass through a massive glass dome surrounded by trees, creating an atmosphere that blends nature with a solar punk aesthetic. Jewel is not just an airport but a true experience center. It connects the airport terminals and offers a multifunctional space, where a shopping mall with over 280 stores meets a tropical paradise garden. Here, you will also find the world's tallest indoor waterfall, standing at an impressive 40 meters high, a spectacle that combines leisure, technology, and sustainability. The concept behind Jewel is to provide a unique experience, merging the urban airport environment with the sensation of being immersed in nature. This idea reflects Singapore's identity as a city in a garden, highlighting its innovative and visionary spirit. Designed by the renowned architect Moshe Safdie, the complex not only impresses tourists from around the world but has also become a popular space for locals. Additionally, Changi Airport is consistently ranked as the best in the world, receiving about 70 million passengers annually. Interestingly, 30% of these travelers do not stay in the country, but Jewel serves as a glimpse of what Singapore has to offer, encouraging a deeper connection with the city. From inside the airport, you can take a train that leads directly to one of Singapore's most iconic landmarks, Marina Bay Sands. With its striking silhouette, the hotel consists of three towers connected by a platform at the top, the Sky Park. However, this iconic design wasn't just an aesthetic choice. Initially, the plan was to build a single tower, but Moshe Safdie proposed a creative solution to avoid obstructing the view of Singapore's waterfront, dividing the structure into three towers, creating a space that harmonized with the local landscape. At the top of these towers, the Sky Park spans 340 meters, offering a 360 degrees panoramic view of the city, lush gardens, luxury restaurants, and an infinity pool 150 meters long, considered one of the most remarkable in the world. The design of Sky Park was inspired by a ship, a tribute to Singapore's maritime heritage, whose history and growth are deeply tied to its port. This integration of tradition and modernity is one of the elements that makes Singapore unique, turning it into a global benchmark for urban planning, sustainability, and innovation. Thus, what could have been just a simple point of arrival or transit becomes the start of an unforgettable journey through a city where the future has already arrived. During the construction of the Sky Park, one of the biggest challenges was ensuring the stability of the structure, suspended 200 meters above ground. This difficulty was even more significant due to the tropical storms that frequently hit Singapore. To address the issue, engineers conducted rigorous tests to assess the impact of strong winds, applying solutions inspired by bridge engineering. Expansion joints were installed to allow the structure to move safely. However, the most critical obstacle was the massive Sky Park pool, which holds over 1.5 million liters of water. Any oscillation in the towers could lead to severe cracks. The solution was to divide the pool into three smaller sections, connected by an advanced expansion system, ensuring both safety and functionality. The Marina Bay Sands, however, is much more than an icon of technology and design. It is a true cultural and social hub, offering attractions like museums, spas, theaters, casinos, a convention center, and a shopping mall with over 170 stores. These features have transformed the Marina Bay area into one of Singapore's most popular tourist destinations. But to truly understand the essence of the city, think about how you imagine the future. When you picture a futuristic city, what comes to mind? Perhaps a landscape filled with skyscrapers, neon lights and machines, with no trace of nature. This idea, inspired by the sci-fi genre known as cyberpunk, reflects a dystopian future where technology dominates human life. 
But Singapore takes the opposite approach, embracing a vision known as solarpunk. The solarpunk movement offers an optimistic perspective on the future, where humanity overcomes environmental challenges through sustainable technologies and achieves harmony with nature. Singapore is a concrete example of this vision, embodying the integration of technology and the environment. A clear symbol of this is the gardens by the bay, with its giant trees that look like something out of a sci-fi film. Although 100% of its population lives in urbanized areas, the city-state is surrounded by greenery. Local laws require that any constructed space be compensated with an equivalent percentage of green area, which explains why so many buildings feature vertical gardens in their designs. This philosophy has transformed Singapore from a garden city to a city in a garden. Moreover, the city's infrastructure has been designed to optimize space and ensure efficient connectivity. Singapore is recognized as one of the most well-connected cities in the world, with a highly efficient public transportation system. The metro, which carries about 3 million passengers daily, is a prime example of how urban planning helps prevent congestion, even in the second most densely populated city in the world. The urban planning approach adopted by visionary planner Lu Tai Kerr divided the city like a chessboard, with tall buildings occupying specific areas while open spaces and parks were distributed across other quadrants. This strategy not only alleviated the feeling of density but also brought harmony between concrete and nature. Walking through Singapore's commercial district, amidst towering skyscrapers, one building stands out, the Pan Pacific Hotel. Instead of adopting the traditional single tower format, the architectural firm Woha divided the hotel into 23 floors spread across four large terraces. Each terrace was inspired by different natural landscapes of Singapore, allowing guests to experience the island's environmental richness. On the ground floor, the forest terrace connects the hotel to the street, transforming the space into a public square filled with lush trees and an impressive waterfall. On the upper floor, the beach terrace houses the hotel's swimming pool, featuring an organic design with sand-like finishes and palm trees strategically placed to create a unique tropical atmosphere. From the first encounter, the Pan Pacific captivates visitors, offering a glimpse of the perfect harmony between nature and urbanism that defines Singapore. Taking the experience to the next level, the hotel's garden terrace provides a tranquil setting ideal for guests looking to unwind in the exclusive bar or lounge. At the top of the building, the cloud terrace is reserved for special events, featuring open spaces and a conference room that combines elegance and functionality. A particularly striking detail is the green columns that run through the structure, visually connecting the different terraces and harmonizing with the surrounding vegetation. The hotel goes beyond the traditional concept, replacing 200% of the land area with vegetation, while its mirrored roof amplifies the perception of green spaces and acts as a thermal regulator, keeping the environment cooler. Today, hotels are not just places to stay but destinations in themselves, and this is a perfect example of that transformation. Another environment undergoing transformation is universities. With the internet enabling learning from anywhere, the traditional classroom model is becoming obsolete. It was within this context that Nanyang Technological University created the Hive Building. Inspired by beehives, the structure stands as a landmark of collaboration and active learning. Instead of conventional classrooms, each floor offers meeting and group workspaces, reflecting the institution's philosophy, learning is a dynamic and interactive process. Designed by the renowned architecture studio Heatherwick, the hive consists of 12 towers arranged around a central atrium. The 56 rounded rooms promote collaborative learning. To cope with Singapore's climate, which ranges between 25 degrees Celsius and 31 degrees Celsius, the building was designed with optimized natural ventilation and an innovative cooling system, metallic coils circulating cold water within the railings, cooling the passing air and saving up to 30% in energy consumption. This building is not just a structure, it is the embodiment of an educational philosophy, proving that the environment where we learn is just as important as the content we study. Known as the Pearl of Asia, Singapore is now the third largest financial center in the world, behind only New York and London. It is also one of the countries with the highest concentration of millionaires. However, just half a century ago, the situation was entirely different. Singapore was a poor island with few natural resources and limited development prospects. During British colonization, it served merely as a refueling point for ships. It was occupied by Japan during World War II and later by Malaysia, before achieving independence in 1965. Under the visionary leadership of Lee Kuan Yew, who governed for more than 30 years, Singapore underwent an unprecedented transformation. Comprehensive reforms aimed at economic growth modernized the country, adopting a capitalist model with strong state control. Its strategic location, at the heart of a major trade route between Asia and Europe, was one of the factors driving the island's economic miracle. Singapore evolved from a mere trading port to one of Asia's largest financial and industrial hubs. 
Today, with a focus on innovation and technology, the government directs public investments into specific areas like housing and telecommunications, while tax incentives attract global companies, solidifying the island as one of the world's leading technology hubs. This relentless pursuit of innovation is even reflected in housing. One example is the Interlace, a residential complex that challenges traditional concepts of urban design. With blocks resembling stacked Lego pieces, the project reinvents the idea of housing in Singapore. Designed by the Weme architecture firm, the complex breaks away from the predominant verticality of the city's buildings, opting for a horizontal layout in a hexagonal shape. This creates a vast network of open courtyards and green spaces, providing leisure and social areas for residents. The 1,440 apartment units are distributed across 31 blocks, each six stories tall, seemingly arranged randomly around eight courtyards. The blocks vary in height, reaching up to 24 stories, and offer 112% of green area compared to the land occupied. This integration between urban planning and nature makes the interlace an architectural landmark that goes beyond housing, promoting quality of life and sustainability in one of the most innovative countries in the world. Singapore continues to prove that it is possible to balance modernity, technology, and the environment, creating a city that inspires the future. The project is not only surrounded by greenery but fully integrated into it, making green spaces accessible to all residents. The innovative approach breaks away from the typical isolation of vertical buildings, creating a connected network of communal areas. This new form of urban living transforms interactions, offering a unique experience of connection with nature. Now, let's discuss a project that in my opinion, is the epitome of solar punk architecture, not just for its innovative aesthetics but also for the transformative impact it has on the city. Located in the heart of Singapore's financial district, one of the country's tallest towers stands out. Its sleek modern lines open to reveal lush vegetation at its core. We're talking about Capita Spring, a building that literally opens its doors to the city. Developed through a partnership between Danish architect Jark Ingels and Italian Carlo Ratti, Capita Spring is a mixed-use skyscraper with an impressive height of 280 meters. Its connection to the city starts at ground level, where a linear park integrates green spaces into the bustling financial district. This park offers trails that lead visitors to a space known as the City Hall, an indoor plaza with a height of 18 meters. This area was designed to be an urban retreat, filled with natural light and greenery. On the first two floors, there is a distinctive food court. Instead of large restaurant chains, the space is dedicated exclusively to local vendors, promoting the culture and commerce of the community. Just above, the next eight floors are designated for residential spaces. The residents have access to a wide range of leisure areas, including a swimming pool, jacuzzi, running track, gym, and community spaces for socializing and working. Higher up, we find the Green Oasis, a stunning green area at the heart of the skyscraper. With more than 880,000 plants, this space creates a living and relaxing environment accessible to all. It's as if a tropical garden had been inserted into the middle of the urban structure. Continuing upwards, the top 29 floors are reserved for corporate spaces, with modern offices and co-working areas designed to meet the demands of the future of work. At the top of the building, a true spectacle awaits, a panoramic garden with a breathtaking view of the city. This area houses an orchard and a vegetable garden with 150 species of fruits and vegetables, which supply the restaurants located within the building. Capita Spring is much more than just a beautiful or functional building. It is a landmark of how architecture can actively serve the city, promoting integration with the community and creating new spaces where nature, culture, and urbanism coexist harmoniously.